bringing children and families into our park to stay and play for a lifetime. Providing quality and affordable recreation that invites all to come out and play. Fostering partnerships that invest in forward-thinking, world-class facilities. And supporting innovation and welcoming new ideas from those we employ and serve. Chicago Parks are your parks. I'm General Superintendent and CEO Mike Kelly. Welcome to Chicago at Play. An innovative new art exhibit is changing the landscape of a downtown park. The new project is called Borders. Borders is a labor of love, you know, it's 13 pairs of figures, 26 in total figures, and they are made out of two opposing materials, um, aluminum and cast iron. So heaven and earth, heavy and light. But the idea is that they line up, the figural pairs line up along the park, they form a kind of a border that the viewer can cross. The basic idea is that it's thought that although we are different, as a humanity, we are all connected. It was clear to me that it was the kind of work that we at the Park District love seeing. It's this kind of interactive thing. and We're really interested in not just the object, but the interaction that can happen around the object. The moment that the first piece arrived here for the installation, people were already interacting with the pieces. They were sitting next to it, they were looking at it, they were making the same shapes of body and faces. Stanen's done this in a number of other cities. We knew it would be successful. Currently, you can see the Borders exhibit at the Schulte Garden in Grant Park. It is causing quite a reaction in the neighborhood. I still think that Schulte Garden is somehow developing into the best site <laughs> that it's been, and this is the fourth venue. It allows people to stop and think, which is important today. To just pause and think and connect with something that interests you. Here we are in Schulte. It, it honors an important conductor at the symphony right across the street not far from the Art Institute. It's sort of a, a place where art happens a great deal, and so we're very excited that she's here right off Michigan Avenue in a park district site, connecting with people in our park. It's part of the whole new movement with the park district, which is greening and nature and arts and culture. And it started with Mayor Daly, it's continuing with Ray Mayor Emanuel and the park district. And so there's this huge movement afoot, and Grant Park has never been better in its history and more interesting. Some visitors are surprised and most are pleased when they walk into the garden and find these unique figures. I mean, we've already seen people sitting on their laps, people staring in their faces, people taking the same poses. They are neutral in character and they are not uh, obtrusive so that people do not feel threatened by them or they're not aggressive. I think it allows people to approach them, interact with them. The beauty of art in parks is that people can actually go out there whenever they basically want, when the park is open, and interact not only with the sculpture and the art, but with also, very importantly, with nature. The artist had a special subject to inspire the durable figures. They are all based on my older son's body, so I have basically tortured him for a very long time. <laughs> uh, but uh, just the fact that he is my son brings them closer to me and so they become like a family. And then I take it, the, this plaster original to uh, a foundry. They pour hot molten metal into the sand mold. Once the, the metal has hardened, they break open the mold, which often feels a little bit like a birth each time. Chicago Park District has probably the largest sculpture collection, outdoor sculpture collection in the state. So we're aware and know how to do this. Sculpture in the public domain needs to be, you know, very hardy. Uh, it's going to be here through the winter, so it can't be affected by heat or cold, rain, water, and it has to be able to have people interact with it. But we also expect that people will be respectful. We respect what we care about, and I think people will care about this work. To learn more about Borders or other sculptures in the parks, visit chicagoparkdistrict.com. And when you bring installations like this one, it makes you think differently about the space and it makes you question, oh, I was there yesterday and now it's different and so how is it different? And it, it creates that conversation. And I think it brings another level of engagement. I think things can touch people through religion, 
through spiritual practice, through nature, and through art. I mean, those are really heart-connecting things. And I think when you put nature and art together, it's an amazing joining of two very important pieces of that puzzle.